What is going on? Amazing, amazing leaders. Oh, I miss you guys and I love you. I'm so excited for this Sunday. Um, I have a quick update. We are changing things up a little bit when it comes to small groups. And we actually have, starting this Sunday, a new small group uh, curriculum that we are going to be going through. And it looks a little bit different, so I wanted to walk you guys through it so that once we get set up on Sunday, you guys aren't caught off guard. So here, this is what it looks like. It is a lot more pretty looking and it is only one sheet for you guys. So uh, this is how it's gonna run. Uh, usually on a Sunday morning, you guys have our students for about 40 minutes and we go through small groups. Well, uh, going forward, Pastor Kyle or myself are gonna spend some more time on stage at the beginning explaining uh, a teaching or uh, whatever Bible verse we're going through. And then you guys are actually going to have around 20 to 25 minutes with your students. So the small group curriculum is going to be a bit smaller, um, but it's going to be really focused in on what are these students going to walk away with. So if their parents ever ask them, what did you learn? It's going to be very, very clear. So this is what it's going to look like. Every student is going to have one of these in front of them. Uh, and this is our, our discussion guide. It is front and back. Um, the front part, there are a bunch of fill in the blanks. So this Sunday, I am going to be talking about uh, uh, purity and relationships. And I will be going through these points. So while they have this in front of them, I'm going to be up on stage and they're going to be filling through these. So this first one. This is lust is, the fill in the blank, blank is pleasure focused, which is what I talked about on Wednesday, and love is person focused. So as they hear me talk, they're going to be filling this out, and they'll get to the end, and then I'm going to turn it over to discussion time. So that will be the second uh, 20 minutes. So I'll be up there for maybe 15-ish minutes, and then for the next 20, 25 minutes, you guys will get turned over discussion guide. And you'll see it's very simple. So they're actually going to be writing with pens on this sheet. So it looks a lot different, I know, um, but the goal of this is to keep them more engaged and, uh, you know, less reliant on you guys as small group leaders to try to keep their attention. They're going to be able to do this with their hands. They'll be able to write out their answers. Um, and then at the end, this should look familiar for you guys. As a group, you're going to talk about what is your biggest takeaway from today's discussion and how can we be praying for you this week. Now, for each of these questions... I don't want it to be like a silent time of everyone just work, no one talk. Um, I want as a group, maybe to, for you guys to give your students a, a minute or two to write their answer and then talk about it. So each of these aren't just uh, be quiet and write down your answer, but these are meant to spark discussion in your group. But the cool thing about this is that the students will actually be able to take this home and uh, keep it wherever they want to keep it. And then if their parents ask, hey, what did you learn? They have uh, their discussion sheet with all their notes and everything that they filled out on it. So this is what we're going to be looking at this week. We're going to see how it runs. And I want to hear from you guys, okay? If it's better, I want you to let me know. If it's worse, if it doesn't work, I want you to let me know. If your students get confused or you get confused, please talk to me or talk to Pastor Kyle because we want this to be excellent for you guys. We want it to work well, and we want our students to walk away learning something every single Sunday. So I hope that makes sense, and I'm really, really excited to get into it. Love you guys.